I'm going to show you how to use the MDRS, which stands for Magnetic Dent Removal System. So why am I starting out focused on the contents of my pocket laying on my workbench? That is because the very first thing you need to do before using the MDRS is take everything out of your pockets, take off all your jewelry. We are going to be using very, very strong magnets here. We don't want any accidents to happen. Also, if anybody has a pacemaker, they cannot be around these things. Um, the old instructor at Renton Technical College where I went to repair school, he had a pacemaker. He would have to take the day off and have a substitute instructor come in to teach how to use the magnetic net removal system. So here's our system at Crane. Those are the magnets down there, those black handles. And we've got this really cool contraption for keeping everything organized. And this custom toolkit here has many, many different sizes of dent balls. For the most part, you'll probably be using these medium ones here. They are solid. They're quite heavy. Um, that's the biggest one right there, and that usually works pretty well for most tubas. Um, there are some huge ones. They go all the way up to that size right there. Um, maybe for a metal sousaphone or something like that. Um, it is hollow though, um, so it does not quite as efficient as the solid ones. So like this one in my left hand is about twice as heavy as the one in my right hand just because it's solid. And then here's one of the magnets. You've got to be extremely careful with these. The, the magnet does not care if your hand is in between it and something metal. Right? So you can see that's no joke right there. If you get too close and your hand's in the way, that is going to smush your fingers. So let's look at this tuba. It's typically low brass is where you're going to be using these tools. And it's going to be down in the bow right there. So the reason the MDRS is such a cool system is imagine if you had to take out some dents right here before this thing was invented. There is no way you could get a dent mandrel all the way down the bell and into the bow there. You would actually have to unsolder everything. So you'd have to unsolder the ferrule there, the ferrule that goes into the first branch right here, and then every brace and slide tube and everything else that's soldered to it. So we've got, so that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six huge points of solder that you would have to undo just to be able to access, access these dents. So the MDRS is kind of a revolutionary system in that you don't have to do that anymore. So let's say we've got some, uh, some dents in the bow here. There we go, a few dents. Two things that you need beside the um, magnet and the dent ball are some furniture polish. This is going to make things way easier just because it lubricates it. So spray the dents with that. And then an old drum head. So save your old worn out drum heads as long as they're not um, cracked through. It's going to do two things. It's going to help protect the finish and it's also going to help you slide back and forth with the magnet. I'm going to select the biggest dent ball that I think will fit through there. And I think the largest solid one is probably going to be a good choice. So I'm going to carefully roll it down the bell. Now I've got to find that with a bag. This is a spot where you need to be really, really careful because I don't know where exactly in here the dent ball is. So I'm going to start way up here where I'm sure it isn't and then work my way down and it will find that dent ball. Keeping my, ha my free hand way out of the way. Found it. So there it is. 
So once you've got that, really, you're just kind of erasing the dent at that point. This is a really cheap instrument. You can see some of the silver plate coming off. Eh, that's gonna happen. But it, I'd say it took out about 95% of those dents that I put in it. So that's why this is such a really, really nice system. Fairly easy to use. Um, safety concerns are the main thing you've gotta learn with it. It's not perfect. Um, you saw that I put the dents here. Um, if they were below the uh, brace down here, um, or this protective guard, I should say. Um, much, much more difficult to get out. They might not come all the way out. If you wanted to do a really good job, you would actually have to unsolder the whole guard there, then take the dents out, then re-solder the guard. Um, and it's also not great going over ferrules, too. These things right here, for obvious reasons, you know, it'd be a big bump in the road while you're trying to get rid of the dents. But, but that's the MDRS in a nutshell. Um, really, really cool invention, uh, maybe you know, 15 or 20 years ago. Um, one of the guys at Yamaha co-developed it with a guy uh, who owns a shop in Michigan. So really nice set. Um, you got to really remember those safety considerations, but as long as you do that, it's uh, fairly easy to use.